Okay, this is a simple track. Um, should be a very simple shot. You know, very simple shot to track. This is going with just translation on large motion. Um, so we'll play it back, the tracking. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, spline points are staying pretty much dead on. Um, but the uh, plane is not scaling because I obviously only have translation marked. Um, so that's that. We'll try another one uh, with the uh, scaling marked. Okay, here is a track with uh, translation and scale. Um, as you can see, after uh, being a pain in the butt, <coughs> I got it where it, it looks like it's tracking uh, pretty good. So let's try putting a plane in there. And we'll stick the logo in there. Okay, here's tracking with translation, scale, and rotation. Let's see, let's get going. Now, as you can see, the, the splines are staying good, but the plane, once again, is just going bonkers. This shit is really pissing me off. Okay, I did another one with, uh, with translation scale rotation and shear, which was this one. And this one's even worse than the set 12 off. This is with shear. I got it unchecked here for a minute, but that's the way that is. So. Okay, this is a uh, quick little video about how to do a successful, simple track using Mocha AE. Um, this is a tip sequence I have. Uh, if we play it through, it's not very long. Just a short couple hundred frames. 210 frames to be exact. Okay. So I want to get, I want to track the side of this buggy. Because I want to, I want to put a logo on there. So, to successfully do that, where the hell is my space bar working? Okay. What we want to do, get the X spline. <clears throat> okay. You want to, you want to mark outside of the buggy area, okay? And then I'm going to go down, I'm going to do the hubs here because they're always visible, okay? You want as much space as you can around there. You don't want to track right on the image or right, you know, right where you want the image to go because you won't be getting enough data there, okay? So now with this, I'm going to select, it's going to have translation, scale, rotation, shear, and perspective, okay? Which all of them are a pain in the ass, um... I gotta go through and figure out each one, when when you use each one, you know, because it's, uh, but anywho, okay, so I got that set up, now I'm gonna track this backwards, okay, oh, one other thing I forgot, let me move this back to there, I'm gonna clear the data, yes, okay, the minimum number of pixels used, I'm gonna raise this up to like 50%, Okay, just to give it more, so it'll so it'll look in a, in a larger area. Okay, the higher the number, the longer it takes to track, I guess. Okay, so now we'll track backwards. Keep an eye on your, you know, on your on your spline points there. And once they start to go awry, then you can stop it, make your adjustments. <coughs> so we'll. Fast forward till we get to a spot where we gotta adjust at.
Okay, I'm gonna stop that for a minute. I'm just gonna move this point over here a bit. I'll keep going back at it there. I'm gonna stop it. I think I'm gonna bring this point up here like this also. Because like I said, I want to get something on the side here. See, if you try to go right on the surface where you actually want to put your graphic, your whatever image, just a little movie or whatever, then when you get to areas like this tree, like the leaves coming in front of there, you know, it'll throw it off. Um, but the where this where this uh, tip sequence actually begins. Uh, the buggy is going to be behind a tree, and if you have it right, if you have your, your X splines right on this flat area, then when it hits the tree, it doesn't know how to react because there's not enough pixels, so it just starts squashing down. Where this, you'll see, as we get to this tree, as the buggy goes behind it, it's the, the uh, your splines are going to carry on. You know, I'm going to adjust this one here. You can see in your window here on the left, you can see where your... Anyways, you can see where you're hitting. Okay, I'm going to move this over just a little bit too. We'll continue on backwards here. Oh, shit, sure, I should have adjusted that one up. Let me do that real quick here. Okay, track backwards. Now, as it comes to this tree, the shape, the spine shape should just carry right on through. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be compressing. Well, it's compressing a little bit there. But not as much as if you had it... Uh, okay, now we'll just do a playthrough here. Let's see how that turns out. Well, the way that one's... I should have adjusted that one up earlier. Right here. But that's good enough. Now we'll stick the plane in there. Well, you know what? Let's get this... All the way to the end. Get the plane in there. Now we want an image, or I do. I just want the image on the side right here. Now, when we play this, we'll keep an eye on that. And when it gets to a point where it moves or we don't like it, we'll just stop. Go down here to adjust track, okay, and it puts these red, red marks on the corners of your of your plane. Then you can adjust it up. Make sure you get the plane with it. Okay, you get it to where you want it to be. You can see in your window on the left there where it's going to be sitting. Okay, let's finish playing that. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we want to adjust that up. See, we're still in the adjust track. Be on track or adjust track. We want to get this. Okay, let's play it through some more. Let's stick the logo in there. Insert the logo. Play. And that's how easy it is to get the correct tracking data in Mocha. Don't be beating yourself up like I was doing it the other way. Alright, that's it. Well, I'm going to post my videos I made earlier trying to figure out how the hell to do this. Alright. See ya!